Good morning and welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. Today is Thursday. Yes, I am sure it is Thursday. <laughs> and it is day 34 on a construction build out at Villa Feliz. Today, uh, I hope that it will not be as crazy as it was yesterday. And I got to apologize for yesterday. There were just so many things going on that were unexpected and craziness just going on yesterday. So it might have seemed a little confusing in the episode yesterday. So I think I've got everything under control today. And I think today's episode will be back to normal again. So today, I believe out at the construction site, I think we are going to be doing the final touches uh, before the cement pour. Today is Thursday, so we might, I, would, I wouldn't even be surprised if they pour cement today. But I'm, I'm thinking maybe tomorrow. I think they're going to do some finalizing today. But you never know. These guys are so fast out there. Uh, oh, and yesterday, uh, the issue with the PLDT, it looked like they had come and done servicing. And they did. They did come and they checked things out. But what I found out was that PLDT moved me over to a different plan. Yesterday, I got my bill. And my bill said I was on a DSL plan. So originally, I was on a DSL plan which was wrong, and I got them to change it over to my fiber plan, and I had about two weeks of really good fiber, internet connection, data, bandwidth, wonderful. And then something happened at PLDT, and they changed me back to a DSL plan, even though I have a fiber modem. So anyway, uh, they opened the job to get up uh, with Manila, and my sister-in-law, uh, bless her heart, she's gonna go today, and she's gonna go to the PLDT office in uh, SM Lipa, and she's gonna try to get this straightened out. So the only reason I got it out early yesterday, the video, because uh, I had some comments about that, was because I actually started the upload after I came home early for the PLDT uh, service that came in, and I actually had several hours uh, advantage over what I would normally do if I was staying out at the job site. So that being said, uh, I want to get out to the site because I didn't get to see the last three hours of activity that went on yesterday. And I think there's going to be a lot of forward progress today. So uh, let me pay attention to my friend back there, and then uh, we'll head on out to the job site. So without further delay, let's get today's video underway. Good morning, Michelle, May, Roy, everybody. How's everybody today? <laughs> I am great. Every, everybody was angry at me yesterday. Why? Because I, I was taking video pictures and, and my camera wasn't on and they didn't get to see your face yesterday morning. Everybody was so upset. I got all, I got all these hate mails. Good morning. Good morning, Tess. Good morning. Ooh, oh, you're so busy. Yes. You're so busy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Count me in. Two, two. two. All right. I know you're busy. I'll see you later. Have a wonderful day. Uh, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Hey, good morning. The garden's looking great, Jerry. Beautiful.
So as every morning that I arrive here, it's always a beehive activity going on in the uh, on the job site. So anyway, I'm going to go down inside and look and see at some of the things that were actually done between yesterday and this morning for all those hours that I missed. So uh, let's jump down to the pit. So the crew are now digging the trench that's going to be the path that's going to lead from the sump and from the runoff from the gutters that are going to go down into the cistern down here. So they got a pretty deep trench that they're going to have to do because it's actually, well, from where I'm standing at, it's probably around four to f around five meters deep, but I'm standing on at least a meter and a half of uh, overfill that from the, from the dig inside the pit itself. So. So anyway, the guys are doing everything they need to be doing inside the pit. My builder is not here right now, so I'm waiting for him to get in because I want to discuss some of the details about the uh, the drainage solutions, uh, drainage strategies that we're using for the any waters that might get on the outside of the walls of the basement. As you, you know already, I discussed that we're going to be actually doing some waterproofing uh, material that we're going to be putting on the outside. Basically, it's like a paint that they paint on, and it's a, like a rubbery solution, and that will uh, help keep water from penetrating the garage walls that are underneath the ground. Uh, but there's some additional strategies that we want to put into place. And I want to thank several of the subscribers that are actually making great comments inside there and they're worried about uh, any water seepage coming in there as well. And some of the subscribers have some really good background in construction so I appreciate each and every one of the suggestions that, that you guys are putting in. One of the things that I did discuss with my builder was putting perforated pipe basically right around the edge, all the way around the entire house. And what the perforated pipe does for you, it's, it's the same technique that you use when you're building a retaining wall uh, so that you don't get a lot of moisture built up at the bottom, which could actually cause a, the integrity of the wall itself to fail. You also want to use it on the exterior wall at the base of your basement. So what, so what that does for you is when you actually get a lot of rainwater, any water that's setting up that's going to be up against the side of your uh, basement wall, this, the, the perforated pipe, or it can be flexible, or it can be like PVC type of a pipe that's got holes inside of it. What it will do, it will collect that water that's sitting down at the bottom and doesn't let it just sit there and sit, sit on the outside of your wall. It will actually take it, and what you do is you divert that water. You connect the piping system to some type of a, uh, a weeping or into a sewer system or something like that, something that brings that water away from your house. So again, when my, when my contract gets here, we had already discussed it, but I just want to look at his final strategy on that. So we are going to implement something like that. Well, so I'm going to take a quick break from what these guys are doing because they're totally in control of everything that's going on down in the build. I'm actually, I saved some uh, coffee grinds and some eggshells. This is like a perfect additive for compost. Uh, it breaks down and it's organic and it actually adds a lot to, to the soil to improve the soil conditions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to mix it with some of the soil. Not so close since it's, uh, I don't have a compost pile set up yet. This is, you would normally put it inside a compost pile, but you can actually put it in the existing ground. You just can't put it right on the roots. So if you kind of spread it out in the soil around the edge of the uh, whatever plants that you have out there, it will break down and it will break down the compost as well. But if you put it too close and it gets on the roots, it will actually burn the roots. So I'm going to do some of this right now. So 
Uh, anyway, I don't know if you can see over my shoulder the umbrella lady, Cynthia. <laughs> I call her the umbrella lady. She comes with a bicycle, with the food and stuff like that. So the guys have their breaks at 10 o'clock and at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And, the, and Cynthia comes and she provides drinks, refreshments, and she provides snacks and things like that for them. And uh, so that's, that's what their normal break schedule is. So, well, they're taking a break. I just want to remind folks, I'm down to my last uh, Lakatan <laughs> uh, banana from the Lakatan banana calendar. I actually did a video yesterday and I had it, but remember that yesterday was such a confusing day. I failed to include that inside my, my episode yesterday. So, but this is the final last one. And remember, for those who are following <laughs> the Lakatan Banana uh, calendar, is the last one is supposed to be about the day I was expecting delivery of my vehicle from Toyota Pasig. Well, anyway, I did a follow-up yesterday, uh, and I received the email back from my salesman, uh, Sean, uh, this morning. And uh, they have all the paperwork inside. Today is Thursday. And they're gonna they're gonna prep everything tomorrow, and he said he would be delivering on Saturday. Hopefully, I've received the vehicle on Saturday, so I'm hoping I get advance notice that he's on his way because he's actually supposed to be delivering it to me here in Lipa, and it'd be wonderful if he could deliver it right here to the lot out here. That would be great. Wouldn't that be a great episode right there? So anyway, I sent the uh, the confirmation that yeah, I'm ready to accept, and uh, I actually have to pick up a few pesos because there's some uh, options, accessories that I had installed after I did the purchase on it. So I have to pick that up to actually uh, pay him so I can take delivery of the vehicle. So stay tuned for that. But this is the last one. This is Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So I'm like two bananas off. So again, I'm in the Philippines, so you, you have to be flexible. So we'll see what Saturday brings. So anyway, what I want to show you here is the actual uh, manhole that we're going to be using for the sump. Uh, what they're going to do is they're going to pour the concrete around here. Uh, the concrete will go all around here. And this is actually a form uh, that they have here. This is the actual going to be the access point right here. Uh, and that all the, that's all this is, is a form. And when the concrete's poured, uh, then they'll lift this out of here and it will be replaced by a uh, galvanized steel grating, uh, like a mesh type of a cover for the manhole so, it'll be, so we'll be able to have easy access into the sump area and that's also where the water is going to drain down in the event that we have water in, uh, in the garage. I just want to tell you something that amazes me, the attention to details that these guys are doing. If you look at their tying off each one of the intersections of the rebar on these, on the 15 centimeter points right here, you'll see every single point is tied off on here. So my contractor's actually gone for the day, for the rest of the day, because his daughter is having some kind of recognition program for, for the school. Even though school is out, I think this is like the award ceremony or something like that after. So, uh, and, and he needs to be there, rightly so. So for me, I'm, I'm trying to figure out from these guys around here, and to the best of my knowledge, this is what I think they told me. <laughs> I think they said tomorrow is when they're gonna be doing the pour. And it's gonna be a 12 hour pour from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. It's, uh, it's gonna be a big day. So I'm like, 6 a.m., well, well I'm, I'm actually up at that time, but normally I'm doing mm, YouTube, answering emails, stuff like that. And uh, so maybe tomorrow, if you don't see me responding to some of the comments, it might be because I'm actually out here like, oh, dark 30 with, with these guys. Spoiler alert, something I might try to do for tomorrow, I might try to do a time-lapse photography of the entire pour. I think that would be so cool. Uh, so we'll see. Who have we here? So anyway, I we have... Somebody from the States uh, by the name of Imelda, right? Imelda. She's got a representative. She's got one of her family members out here today. And this is Steve. <laughs> and of course, you know Jessica in the My back. mother. My mother. <laughs> and, 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 and what's your mother's name? Deli. Del. Deli. Deli. Yeah. Deli. Deli. Hi, Deli. Hi. Nice and to meet you. And our relative, G Generos. In General? Is it General? That's in your name? Generos. 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 Yeah. Ah, ah. So anyway, 
These, <laughs> these fine folks are on a mission. Back in the Philippines. We saw your YouTube the, here in the, in the Philippines. In the Philippines. Yeah. Uh, so they're actually out here taking a look to see if the stuff is really real out here. <laughs> so they're actually coming out here. So again, we have... Did you, did you see all the visitors from yesterday we had out the, here? Sir, excuse me, can I take a picture of you? No? Yeah, so, absolutely, so, absolutely. And, and so, the... And while the, you're speaking, okay? Yeah, okay. <laughs> And and the husband the husband's from Australia, and and they were out looking for lots yesterday. Okay, is, sir. Is it good? No. Is it so good? I send it to her. So you're gonna say you you met me? Yes, thank you very much. Man. Okay. You really have to put yourself right into oh, the place, no? Absolutely, yeah. Because because yes. you, you cannot you cannot in the brochure you cannot really have a right, the right feel, right? That's correct. And, that's and, correct. and, and one thing that will I will say I will that one thing that I will convince her is that you really have no neighbors, unlike the fear that you have that you don't have neighbors. And I'm telling her today you have no neighbors. Today, that's correct. That's correct. Uh, but after five years, <laughs> things change, right? That's correct. Oh. But. I'm a neighbor right now. Yes, right? and you're the first. No? You're the first. You're the pioneer. No? I'm, I'm the pioneer. That's, right. yes. that's, that's, that's a good way of putting it. I'm yes, the pioneer. You're the pioneer no? well, right. well, in fact, you're you're a, you're a stranger or an alien to this land. Yet mm. you're the pioneer. This is a really nice community. A nice retirement, really. Very nice retirement community. Very and nice. I told her. And I told her, if you want, if you want to be quiet living, go to the back. If you want to have a store, go to the front. That's why I'm here. Yeah, that's, that's why, why I'm in the back. You want to be quiet, right? That's why I'm in the back. Okay. So yeah. thank you so very much. Oh, it was so nice thank to meet you. So thank very you. nice to meet you. And, to, and to say hi to your cousin. Yes. And, and tell your cousin to send me a comment on, yes. on my website. Okay, okay. Okay. Well, good luck. Good and, and, we'll and, see that, we'll see that maybe late tomorrow. Okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank yeah. you very much. All right, bless you. Take care. So I don't know if you know it, but when you get sodas around here, they get they give you straws for your sodas. That, that's how we roll around here. Well, maybe good news. I just got a text from my sister-in-law, and she just said that uh, she got a hold of the folks at PLDT today. today. Remember, she went into the office, and she said uh, my problem was fixed. So proof is in the pudding. When I get home, if you get a video in the next couple of hours, <laughs> it, it means we are thumbs up. So I'll let you know. <laughs>so you can see over my shoulder the the crew is in preparation for tomorrow's big pour and again I confirmed it with my contractor it's gonna be six to six tomorrow so you can see what they're doing they're actually getting all the bags lined up they're getting uh, they had to do a new base for the uh, the box that they're actually gonna be mixing the concrete in and uh, they've got the forms around on the outside they're doing the runner board inside uh, where they'll be passing the uh, the concrete in the, uh, the buckets because we're doing a manual pour as I explained earlier so they're everything right now is uh, setting up for tomorrow morning's big pour so anyway what I wanted to mention was th there were several people that asked uh, in um, uh, yesterday's comments and today I'm, I'm actually checking while I'm out here uh, they want to know what the house is actually going to look like and, and it's no secret I mean I've got it in different places so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop up a, uh, a rendering, uh, my architect's rendering. Now, just realize that the, the rendering that I'm gonna show you right now is not exactly the way it's gonna look because even in the last 45 days, we've made a lot of changes on this house. Even though we've been prepping this for uh, six, seven years, we've been actually prepping for this for this build, but we're, we're constantly making changes, even up 
up until yesterday, even till today as a matter of fact, when it had to do with uh, some of the drainage that we're using for the garage uh, basement. So anyway, I'm gonna pop it up and what you'll notice different on the picture that I'm showing you now yeah. is that the, the, the house, you can see it looks like a three story. So basically take that bottom story, which is actually the garage area, and that's gonna be sunk underneath the ground. And there's only gonna be about 1.1 meter showing above ground. Okay, and then also look at the stairway. Remember uh, the stairway uh, episode? So that entire stairway is not gonna be out, sticking out nearly as far. It's gonna be a, a simpler uh, stairway where there's just one set of stairs going up, there'll be a platform, and then you will turn right, right onto the, uh, the patio. And we have another delivery. Concrete hollow blocks. Hurrah. All right, well, it is after five o'clock. The crew, as you can see, they are, uh, they're just finishing up everything. They actually put the last form in, the one that goes around the CR inside the basement. So they got all the edges for the forms made up. So they are ready. They got all the materials in place. They got all the forms in place. They got all the rebar in place. Uh, they got all the line levels run inside there. So they are ready for first thing in the morning to start doing mix and actually do a pour. So I'm gonna try to get out here extremely early tomorrow. I wanna be here at the very beginning of the pour. Well, I'm gonna call it a day here. Uh, Tess has tortang talong, which is my favorite, my very favorite uh, Philippine dish. And that's the eggplant. Uh, it's made with the, with the eggs inside there, like, like an omelet. So I can't wait to get that. And she's making me a double portion tonight. And I'm, I'm really hungry. Uh, PBJ only goes so far. So anyway, I'm going to head on out there. And uh, tomorrow is going to be a great day. Today was a great day. We got a lot accomplished. So anyway, I am excited about tomorrow. And tomorrow is day 35 on the construction build out here at Villa Feliz. So until tomorrow, I will see you on my PI Dream.